quality of service. Now in this video, we'll see the basic introduction to the quality of service. And then we'll see why there is a need for the quality of service. What are the different network issues comes and how to overcome that by using some quality of service. Now, before we go ahead, let's try to understand what is quality of service. So quality of service is a method of giving a priority to some specific information as it goes over the network. Like take an example in my network, normally we have different types of traffic. You might be sending some Vivo IP traffic, voice traffic, uh, where you have some IP phones connected and you are sending that. And also there are some applications used in my network, which are using some video conferencing applications. And also I have some data traffic as well moving in the network, maybe your HTTP traffic or FTP traffic or some database, something like that. Now, when they, when they go through the network, probably there is a possibility that when you're sending on the router, probably it is going on the link. Now, if there is a not enough bandwidth, or maybe there is a possibility that uh, your FTP traffic, that there are some users who are downloading something and the users, now the FTP traffic is almost eating up all your bandwidth and maybe, maybe your voice traffic is not clear, your voice is not clear. Uh, the reason is maybe some of the packets are getting dropped and when you are when you are doing some video conferencing applications the video is not coming properly now these are some of the reasons some of the uh, issues you 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 get into if you have some uh, less amount of bandwidth available on the link now what we can do here is we can we can simply configure something like we can give a priority for specific traffic saying that if a traffic is coming with a voice or video that should be sent first and it has to stop all the remaining traffic or maybe we can define that the voice traffic should get a guaranteed bandwidth of of 64 kbps on that particular link in case if there is a congestion due to low speed links and that can be done by using something called quality of service so quality of service is a method of giving a priority for some specific traffic as it is moving over the network and we can define them in different categories and we can define we can reserve some amount of bandwidth for specific traffic we can define the priority uh, we can we can tell we can ensure that any any applications like ftp downloads should not utilize all the bandwidth we can restrict them by using some policing options and that that's what we are going to see in these sections now, now before we go ahead with the more in detail of different quality of service mechanisms, which is which will help us in in improvising your network performance or giving the priority. Before we do, we go ahead, we need to understand what are the general issues we have in the network. So network quality issues like sometimes you know the small voice packets has to compete with your FTP downloads, and we we need to ensure that some path, some traffic should get a high priority which are typically your sensitive traffic like voice and video. And we, we never want any downtime for these specific applications. We want to ensure that some, some database applications, we need to ensure that uh, there, there should not be any downtime in accessing those, those servers. Now that can be done by, by ensuring that we, we can give some quality for different applications. That's what we do in the quality of service. Now there are now why there is a need, you know, what, what are the general problems you have in the network? Like the first common problem is the lack of bandwidth. So you might be trying to send some information over the network, but the WAN link connecting between the routers is just two MBPS. And in this two MBPS, we need to ensure that we send all the traffic. Now, if there's no enough bandwidth, then probably it will also lead to the packets getting dropped or network getting congested so first let's try to understand where in, in which scenarios you will have some bandwidth issues like take an example there is a user a sender is sending is connected in the lan at a speed of 10 mbps and i have a receiver or trying to access access the server which can support up to 100 mbps so probably when the sender supports 100 mbps it will try to send at a speed of 100 mbps but on the WAN link, we just have 256 kbps. So probably the router cannot process the packets at a speed of 10. It's going to send at a speed of 256 kbps. And then maybe here 512. But at the end, you will not be able to send and receive at the same speed. So the overall bandwidth from, from the sender to receiver, probably it will be the least bandwidth 
uh, whatever we have. So the maximum available bandwidth equals to the bandwidth on the slowest link. So that's the maximum bandwidth you can send between the two devices. Or uh, in, in those scenarios, probably we don't have enough bandwidth. So the model bottleneck will be like we have the link which is just supporting 20, 256 kbps, and you cannot send you cannot send the information more than that because this this link connecting between the two routers, router one and router two, you can just send at a speed of 256 kbps. Now the next possible thing now packet loss. The second problem is the packet loss. Now packet loss generally happens when the router receives a packets and it will try to send the packets if there is uh, based on the output queue the number of packets it can hold it will hold those packets before it send back again and if it reaches the maximum limit automatically it will start dropping your packets so that is also one common reason let's say if you have a voice traffic coming up and probably that voice traffic is queued and maybe due to due to the output queue is full then it is going to automatically drop your packets and when you're sending some important critical traffic we don't want that to happen so that is that is one more problem here now if there is a packet loss probably you will you will have some issues if you are on the phone call you will see the voice will break up because of the some packets are getting dropped because of the congestion if you're using some telephone conferencing applications the white and video will not be synchronized your picture is not clear again and if you are downloading some files from some publishing companies the files will be corrupted so when you download the file will not be complete so it says when you try to open that particular file it says as corrupted or maybe if you're if you're if you're attending a call center probably uh, they say that please hold on while my screen refreshes because when they try to refresh it will take some time because of the network congestions and these are the general problems you have in in general when in non commonly when we have some network congestions okay so the first one was lack of bandwidth packet loss even there is a possibility that your packets may get delayed now the delay generally depends there are different types of delays we have processing delay where the time taken by the device to process the packets queuing delay queuing delay is nothing but how how long because the packets will be queued before it sends outside probably that will also take some time depending upon the uh, output queue again and then propagation delay is is the time taken before it actually sends outside and these are all the things you know these are all different types of delays matters so when you are sending the information it will also take some time depending upon the uh, different or different types of delays as well and then the fourth problem will be jitter now jitter is a one kind of problem where the packets from the source will reach the destination in different delays like normally if you are sending the packets at a steady stream the delay the from the source the source and destination between each and every packet you have some serial delay normally the common delay but if you have some jitter there will be extra delay here so jitter is generally caused based on the congestion on the network and the condition can occur either the router interfaces or the provider or the carrier network if the circuit is not working properly now jitter again leads to some some extra maybe some unnecessary traffic including that so the packets not coming at a common streaming we call that as jitter now these are the four different problems we have with the network congestion and to overcome all these things we need to use something called quality of service now quality of service will ensure that whatever the bandwidth available based on the particular bandwidth will will give some priority for a specific amount of traffic like we will we'll say that if the voice traffic is coming and also your ftp traffic is coming we'll say voice traffic should be sent first before it sends the voice ftp traffic and we are also saying that ftp traffic should not utilize more than 64 kbps if it is exceeding it will automatically drop it or or reduce the priority something like that so we all we we do this we are efficiently utilizing the available bandwidth by prioritizing some specific traffic and that is what we call as quality of service so probably the next section we'll see some different qs uh, tools which we use to make this possible just a quick overview on that and in the in the later on coming coming topics we'll also get into each and every 
mechanism which is used to overcome these problems.